Who really is the strongest? Is it automatically Gojo or maybe it's Saitama? Well, in this video, we are going to be answering that question. There are over 60 plus moves in the strongest battlegrounds, and today I will be showcasing the weakest to the strongest moves, and then based on that information, I will calculate and rank each character based on overall strength. So be sure to like, comment, do all that good stuff, and let's get right into this video. Shove. What was that glitch? <laughs> Oh damn, was that only 7%? Wow, that might be the weakest. 10%. A whopping 10%. Let's see about if you just hit the back of Ignition Burst. A solid 11% rolling kick. Whopping 12%. Ignition burst. Pull. And foul ball. It's funny how the rock does more damage even though you're supposed to miss it. Hunter's grasp. 15%. Okay, pinpoint cut. Flash strike. A whopping 15%. Blitz shot. 15%. Our first one is home run. 15%. And explosive shuriken. Consecutive punches. And uppercut. Ooh, a whopping 15%. Okay, let's see how much the Awakening actually does in terms of damage. Just the Awakening alone does 16% damage. Now we have Quick Slice. A whopping 17%. Grand Slam. Another whopping 17%. 17%. Beat down. A whopping 17%. And this next move. A whopping 18%. Let's go for Carnage. That's 18%. Eighteen percent damage. A whopping eighteen percent. We have Atomus Cleave. A whopping nineteen percent. A solid twenty percent. I mean, let's do over here and miss. And if you miss, it does 20% damage. Machine Gun Blows. Twenty-one percent. Let's see Praise Peril. A solid 21%. Savage Tornado. That's 22%. So, the first move, Flowing Water. Woo! Okay, we got a solid 24%. We'll start with the Water Stream Rock Smashing Fist. A whopping 26%. And we'll do Crushed Rock. Whopping 26% damage. That's 28% damage. We got Solar Cleave. That's 29%. Let's do straight on. That's 
It's a whopping 30% damage. Okay, off awakening alone, it does 30% damage. That's crazy. There we go, now we're looking right. So, with Saitama, let's start off with normal punch. Boom. That is a whopping 30%. Okay. That's 35%. That's 35% damage right there. Let's test how much the actual awakening does. It's a whopping 35% damage just off the awakening. Now the rock splitting fist. A whopping 38% damage. Twin Blade Rush. We got 39% damage. Forty percent damage. The first death blow variation. We got a whopping forty-five percent. Even if you miss, we've got sunrise. It's a whopping forty-seven percent. The speed best drop kick. Ooh, forty nine percent damage. That's crazy. Now we got sunset. Fifty percent damage. Wow. Beat down. Whopping 50% damage on Brittle Beatdown. We got 65% damage. Okay, final hunt. Oh my gosh! We got 68% damage on that. We got 69% damage on Incinerate. And with that, and of course, Atomic Slash. Sheesh! A whopping 80% on Atomic Slash. Big 100%. Here's Death Counter. One hundred percent. Table flip. Grandiose one hundred percent. Serious punch. Omnidirectional. <laughs> A 
solid 100%. And if we turn off Infinity and use Attract again... Attract! A solid 100%. And with that, let's go ahead and start doing math. Alright guys, and here's the total output of damage. For Saitama, in base is 67%, and in alt is 400%. For Garo, it's 78% in base and 188% in alt. For Genos, it's 79% or 68%, whether or not you can hit both parts of Ignition Burst. And in alt, it is 229%, assuming you hit all of the moves. But Sonic in base is a surprising 59%, and in alt is 150%. With Metal Bat, it is 63%, and in alt is either 205% or 255% whether or not you can hit death blow. Atomic Samurai is 61% and in alt is 241%, Tatsumaki 31% and obviously Gojo at 400%. Now guys, the overall results you have been waiting for. At the top, Saitama with 467% damage, Metal Bat being second with 318% damage, Genos being third with 308% damage, Atomic Samurai being 4th with 302% damage, Garo being 5th with 266% damage, and Speed of Sound Sonic with 209% damage. And obviously Tatsumaki being last with 31% damage because her character is not complete yet. Now, here's the most interesting thing based on all this data. It turns out for Saitama, because you lose your awakening after hitting one move, you can never actually output 467% damage. So, it turns out for Saitama, his damage, his total damage output in a public match or a ranked match would be 167%. Thus, making the strongest hero actually the second last strongest hero. And mind you, Tatsumaki is not complete yet. So it turns out Saitama is actually the weakest, even though he is the strongest hero. Now, obviously, I do want to put the disclaimer. All of these calculations and numbers do not take into effect combos. And combos are one of the most popular things in the community, and it's for a reason. Because that is the difference maker in whether or not you can actually kill your opponent. But yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts on the video is. Let me know your thoughts on these numbers. Were you actually surprised too? I myself was actually surprised. And whew, when Tatsumaki fully gets finished, I'm going to have to come back to this video and see what changes. So with that, we move. Itachi.